Holly. And I'm Molly. And, and we, we are the Ollie Girls. Ever dreamt of owning your own beach house? We'll show you how to build the next best thing, a sandcastle. The Ollie Girls Guide to Summer. Today, making a sandcastle. Step one, find the perfect spot. Make sure it's not too close to the water because your castle might get washed away. What about this spot, Holly? This spot's perfect. It has amazing dampinosity and incredible moistification. Step two, gather your sand. Decide how large your castle will be and that's how much sand you'll need. Remember, Thomas Edison said, to invent, you need a good imagination and a pile of sand. Ahem. <clears throat> I believe Edison said, a good imagination and a pile of junk. Right. Well, he would have said sand if he was building a sand castle. Step three, definition. Now it's time to shape and design your castle. Oh, I can't make it any longer. Yes, we can, Holly. We're Ollie girls. We can do it. Come on, no. you're almost there. Perfect. Well, there you have it, a sand castle. Wait! Now that's a sand castle fit for a queen. Fit for an Ollie girl. Thanks for watching the Ollie Girls Guide to Summer. Thanks for stopping by. Looks pretty good, huh? You think they'll find out? Hi, I'm Holly. And I'm Molly. And, and we, we are the Ollie Girls. Do you want the secret to packing the perfect picnic? Well, get ready for an Ollie education. The Ollie Girls Guide to Summer. Today, packing a picnic. Step one, picnic basket. Make sure your basket's big enough to carry everything you need for a perfect afternoon. What do you need that for? You'll see. <laughs> Step two, tools of the trade, which includes utensils, cups, and plates. Oh. Step three, food. The sandwich is one of the all-American picnic foods. <laughs> and grapes are a great portable fruit. Step four, hygiene. Baby wipes are a great way to clean your dirty hands. Paper towels work great too. Step five, blanket. Bring a thin blanket that's fun to eat on and easy to fold. Oh, uh, can you, this way, uh, this arm. And remember, leave your picnic site as clean as when you found it. And that's how you pack for the perfect picnic. Thanks for stopping by. See you next week on the Ollie Girls Guide to Summer. The Ollie Girls Guide to Summer. Today, camping. Step one, pitch your tent. Oh, it says here, first find a friend to help. Step two, supplies. Here's some things you should bring. Bring water, granola bars, and bug repellent, because you'll need them. What else should they bring, Holly? A curling iron, in case we meet some cute park rangers. And a blender, in case they like margaritas. <clears throat> and where do you plan on plugging these in? Now that's some green power. Step three, stash your food. Hang your food in the tree so the animals don't eat it while you're asleep. Animals? Well, yeah, they smell the dinner you cooked and they come sniffing around. Really? Uh, do we have a nightlight? Uh, no. <gasps> Can we go home now? <laughs> well, that's almost all you need to know about camping. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time. Hopefully. On the Ollie Girls Guide to Summer. Hi, I'm Holly. And I'm Molly. And, and we, we are the Ollie Girls. Going somewhere fun? We'll help you pack. The Ollie Girls Guide to Summer. Today, packing for a vacation. Step one, suitcase. You can either check your bags or carry them on. But if you choose to carry on, you might leave something behind that you really like. All right, you can come too. Step two, stuff. Pack light, only bring the essentials. Don't forget your shorts, pants, skirts, tops, bikinis, blouses, shopping outfit, casual outfit, semi-casual outfit, dressing outfit, pajamas, shorts, medium and long socks, underwear, shoes, heels, makeup, bathroom bag, favorite DVDs, favorite CDs, hair curler, hair crimper, hairspray, travel pillow. You're not bringing this. Aw, fluffer gutter? And don't forget, everything should be packed neatly. Anything you can't fit in your suitcase, you can wear on the plane. Holly, we're going to Hawaii. Oh. <laughs> so that's Packing Made Easy. See you next week on Ollie Girl's Guide to Summer. Thanks for stopping by. 
Oh, make sure your bag has wheels. Hi, I'm Holly. And I'm Molly. And we are the Ollie Girls. Want to see some girl on grill action? We're going to show you how to throw a good old Ollie Girl barbecue. The Ollie Girls Guide to Summer. Today, throwing a barbecue. Step one, heating your grill. When using a charcoal grill, make sure you leave yourself plenty of time because you'll need to stack your coals in a heat pyramid. Soak them in lighter fluid and burn them for a while until they're white hot. Unless you're using a gas grill. Just turn it on. Remember, don't touch the grill with your hand. You might burn yourself. Isn't that right, Holly? Yes, Molly. This brings us to step two, protective gear. Use an oven mitt to protect your hands from the heat. And to protect yourself from messy grill splatter, use an apron that's been Ollie Girl approved for functionality and sexiness. Step three, cook your meat. And make sure the inside gets cooked too. Hmm, needs a few more minutes of heat therapy to increase sausageosity. Step four, outdoor games. If you want to inject some fun into your barbecue, bring some balls. We brought a soccer ball, a football, a volleyball, water balloons. That's funny, I brought water balloons too. What a coincidence. Shall we say goodbye to the people now? You first. Well now you know how to create the perfect summer barbecue. Thanks for watching. See you next time on the Ollie Girls Guide to Summer. And I'm Molly. And, and we're, we're the, the Ollie, Ollie Girls. Girls. This is the Ollie Girls Guide, where we show you how to do it the Ollie Girl way. Are you ready to get down and dirty on the turf? Grab your balls and come play with us. The Ollie Girls Guide to Tackle Football. Step one, the snap. You bend over. <laughs> And then you put the ball in the center. Woo! Here are some things not to do. Do not tickle the center. Ah! <laughs> Don't let the ball slap your thigh. <laughs> <laughs> Step two is the pass. I want to try. Okay. Okay, so put your fingers in the laces, and then you look at who you're throwing at, and you do a dance back, and make sure your stance is good. And cock your arm back and throw. <laughs> Yay! Step three is the tackle. There are two basic tackles, the classic tackle and the other tackle, like the waist down. Now for the classic tackle. You stay lower, because all her momentum is coming from her running, so you want to take her from the bottom. <laughs> now for the classic waist tackle. <laughs> Illegal tackles include the tickle tackle. <laughs> also, the pillow tackle. The logical tackle. First, if you let me tackle you this time, I'll let you tackle me later. No way. Maybe twice. Nope. Maybe twice. No way. Step four is the touchdown dance. First, the, the booty, booty dance. dance. The booty dance. The booty dance. The Ollie Girl Nerd Dance. <laughs> so well, we can't get it right. And our favorite touchdown dance is the bikini dance. That's it for today's lesson. Keep watching for more of the Ollie Girls. <laughs> Hi, I'm Holly. And I'm Molly. And, and we're, we're the Ollie Girls. This is the Ollie Girls Guide. Where we show you how to do it the Ollie Girl way. We're going to teach you how to make a creamy, gooey, delicious snack. The Ollie Girls Guide to Making Hot Fudge Sundays. What girl doesn't love ice cream? Here are some simple steps to make a great hot fudge sundae. Before we start, we know this is going to get messy. We need to go put the right clothes on. Good idea, Molly. Okay. <laughs> Step one is the ice cream. Two scoops are the best. A scoop for each Ollie girl. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Step two are the nuts. And I like my ice cream really nutty. Me too. Step three is the gooey hot fudge. Mmm. And a lot of it. I like to drizzle it, make a mess mm. all over the place. Mm. <laughs> I want to taste it. Don't try this at home, kids. You might get zipped. 
the best thing about the gooey chocolate is it goes anywhere. <laughs> Step four, the whipped cream. Makes great shapes, right Holly? Right Molly. Ooh, fun. Mm. The last part is the best part, the taste test. Wanna taste mine? You know what? Sundays are best eaten outside. Let's go by the pool. Okay. Okay. That was a really good idea. Yeah, but I'm still hungry. Well, what do we do? I have a good idea. Yeah, thanks for watching. We're gonna show you how to take care of it. So we're gonna grab some soap and water and show you how to wash your car. The Alley Girl's Guide to Washing Your Car. Step one, clothes. Make sure you wear as little as possible because you're gonna get wet. Great outfit, Holly. Thanks, Molly, you too. Thanks. <laughs> Step two, getting the car wet. Make sure you have a strong, steady stream. No dribbling. And if someone happens to get wet, <gasps> ah, too bad. Step three, soap. Be gentle, rub the soap all over, and be sure to get all the dirt off.